No. Hey yogis, it's Mike. Welcome back to my channel. We're on day four of the nine days of nighttime yoga and um, we're gonna do a different flow today. Just another one from my bed um, to show that you can really do some yoga in your bed right before you go to sleep as a way to wind down at the end of your day. Um, a little bit different focus on the breathing we've been doing for these last few classes. Hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying the nighttime sequences. Please let me know. Comment below and let me know what works, what feels good. If it's helping you get to sleep, please let me know. I really love to um, hear the feedback and it also helps the videos get seen by more people on YouTube. So uh, we're going to start in puppy pose today, okay? So this is a like a variation kind of of child's pose. So you'll take your feet out behind you. Your bum is going to be up over top of your knees, okay? And then your arms reach out in front. So you can take your forehead down, kind of on your forearms. So different than child's pose where you're sitting back on the heels, okay? You're going to keep your hips up over your knees. Rest down into the pose and just start to breathe. And if you've been doing these classes the last few days, I've been putting a focus on the exhales being longer than the inhales. This style of breathing really does have an impact on the nervous system. It helps to calm it down, helps to slow down the thoughts as you put the more of an intentional focus on your breath. Let your chest melt down towards the ground, towards your bed. the hips up over the knees. Do about five more breaths. The breath doesn't have to be so fiery. It's not ujjayi necessarily. It doesn't be an audible quality. Put more of the intention on lengthening the exhales as much as you can. Breath in. Breath out. Three more. Melt your chest a little closer. If there's room, you can stretch your arms out a bit more. One more full breath in, long breath out. Walk your hands back in, come up to a tabletop. We'll move through some cat cows, moving the spine here. Just come into a tabletop on your inhale, take cow pose, look up to the ceiling, point your tailbone up. And as you exhale, really press down into your hands, round the back, pull your belly button in. Do that with breath. Inhale, cow. And exhale, the cat. And you can have your eyes closed for the sequence. I really do recommend that you turn out any unnecessary lights. Cow pose on the breath in. Cat, round the back, really exaggerate that movement. From the pelvis, scoop your tailbone up, pull your chest forward. And then again, from the pelvis, scoop the tailbone down, moving through the spine, round the spine, pull your chin to your chest. We're not rushing it, with breath in, the cow. Oh, it's a cat. One more. Come to a neutral spine. Just cross your ankles and sit back up to a seated position with the legs crossed. We're gonna do C 
seated side stretch. So we did yesterday with the legs wide, we'll do it today with the legs crossed, okay? So just finding a comfortable cross-legged position. Taking, we'll start with the right side stretch. So taking your hand out to the left side beside you and then reach your arm up and over your head, similar to yesterday. So again, if you wanna keep reaching, you can keep reaching with the arm like kind of up and over the head. If it feels nice, if it's more restorative, just letting the arm rest on top of your head is an option as well. Okay, you can close the eyes. And keep drawing the shoulder on the right side back a little bit. If it feels like if there's enough space for you, you can come down onto your um, left elbow or forearm. Just getting a bit more opening through the side body there. Keep drawing the shoulder back. Stretching through the side body. Focusing on the exhales being longer than the inhales. Breathe into your right side body. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And stay. Oh, it feels so good. One more big reach on the inhale. And exhale it out. Come back up, switch sides, and take the right hand out beside you or come down to your right elbow. Reach the left arm up and over your head. Again, don't let the left shoulder, don't let it roll forward. You wanna keep that shoulder opening up, drawing back, reaching through the fingers. If you wanna rest your arm on your head, go for it. I'm feeling this is nice here. Like I've got a nice big side body stretch. So a little stability coming from core, keeping the muscles just a bit engaged. It's not like you're firing up your center, but you're keeping that little bit of support through the low back and pulling in about five breaths in and out. Reach and stretch, long exhale. Two. One more big reach. Feel that side body stretching out. Exhale your air. Come back up to sit. We'll take a twist here. So take your right hand to the left knee and your left hand behind you. Okay, and from here, you'll take an upper body twist. Lower body stays right where it is. Using that right hand as a bit of leverage, you can kind of, again, not pulling where you're causing any strain or pinching or anything like that, but just kind of guiding the twist deeper if it feels nice. And that left hand out behind you can kind of be on the tips of your fingers, like spider fingers or your palm flat, whatever feels good. Keep sitting tall. You don't want to slouch into this, okay? Keep sitting up nice and tall. Activating more twist with each exhale. Two more here. In. And out. Lengthen. And twist, gazing over that left shoulder. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center, switch sides. Take your right hand out behind you, grab the right knee with your left hand, and gazing back over that right shoulder. Again, keeping the tall spine, feel like there's something pulling the crown of your head straight up, lengthening through the neck, through the spine. Inhale, a longer exhale. Three more in and out. 
for two. One more big breath. Empty it. Come back to center. Just from here with your legs crossed, walking the hands out in front of you for a little bit of a fold. If you want to round the spine, you can. Let the head drop. If it feels better to be up taller like you do you, you'll be find the pose that feels nice and restorative. Like you want something that feels comfortable. Getting you ready for sleep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Extend the exhale. One more. walk back up with your hands. I'm going to turn so I can get my legs out in front of me. Just taking your hands out behind you, kind of like leaning back for a second. Just like feel that opening through the chest, shoulders integrating. Lift your chest up. Empty, nice and slow. One more breath. Sit up tall. Get your sit bones out behind you. Yeah, so pull the bum cheeks back at the tailbone, pointing back, and then reach your arms up. We'll take a caterpillar pose. Come down onto your forearms, onto your palms. Spine is erect, nice and tall, or you round it. Whatever feels nice to you, yogi. With each exhale, take you a little deeper into the fold. Nice, long, fluid exhales. Three more. Stretch the neck, the spine. And slowly come back up. And you'll move on to your back. Final pose. Option if you want Shavasana or Supta Konasana. Your choice. Again, having the head on the pillow might feel nice. If you don't want a pillow there, if you want to be flat out on your back, then just remove the pillow if you're in bed, if you're just on a yoga mat. Amazing. Do what you need to do. <sighs> Focus on the length of your exhales. Focus on where your body needs to release that last little bit of tension. Where are you resistant to unwinding? Where are you resistant to letting go? Breath in through the nose. 
Open your mouth, long exhale out. Two more like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last one. Let it out through your mouth. Sigh it out. <sighs> and then you're ready for bed, yogi. So again, I don't want to force you to get up and all of that, like you're homing. It's not necessary right before bed. Just be cozy. Close your eyes, turn out the lights, and be ready for sleep. If you are enjoying the content, hit the thumbs up, please. Every video that you watch, it helps so much more than you realize to hit that thumbs up. Comment and let me know what you're enjoying. Let me know what's working. Let me know if you're helping yourself get to sleep a little bit more restfully. Keep moving your body. Keep nourishing your body. Have an awesome rest of your night.